Hi, Santeo from Upsafe here. In this video, we will learn how to drag and drop items in between inventory grids. Here we have a character which has an inventory and a storage which has an inventory. We'll create two inventory grids, one for a character and one for a storage. We can go here, UI Designer, Inventory Grid, and put them under our canvas. We'll first call the first one Player Inventory Grid Panel, and it's Player Inventory Grid. And we'll create a second one called Storage Inventory Grid, and storage inventory grid. We now have two inventory grids, one for the player, one for the storage. We need to hook them up. So first, the first player inventory grid has the bind panel owner inventory, which means it will use the inventory of the panel owner, which is specified here, which is set to the character. Our storage inventory, we need to untick this option and manually drag and drop the storage inventory here. Now, if we press play, we can see that both our panels, if we open them using our debugging tools, show the character inventory and the storage inventory, but we cannot drag and drop. Let's see how to set this up. First, we go under Inventory Grid and find the options here to move items. Let's check first that we're indeed selecting the Player Inventory Grid and we can get started. The first option is the Cursor Manager. The Cursor Manager is used to spawn the item view that will be dragged across the screen. We can get, add a category item view set if we want to specify the item view here, or it will use the item view from whichever item view slot you started to drag from. Here, we can add a drop handler, which will be used to know what will happen when an item is dropped in a slot. So here we can create the item view slot drop action set. If we select the drop handler, we'll see that it automatically added a contain container can move and a container can smart exchange. The way the item view drop handler works, it goes through each item view drop conditions, and if it passes one, it will use the actions right underneath it, and then stop. If it fails the condition, it will go to the next element in the list and try to see if it passes the condition. We can add as many conditions and actions as we want. Here we have all our conditions and our actions. We can even create completely new ones if we want to. For example, in our script, we can see here that we have an example for item view drop container can smart exchange condition. We have a function that we can override for can drop, and the parameter is an item view drop handler. This handler gives us the source container, the source item info, the source index, and the destination container, destination item info, destination index, and more. You can use this information to know exactly where the item came from and where it's supposed to go. 
for the exchange action we get the same parameter and we can apply something now we've added our drop handler we can add a drag handler which will allow us to start the drag finally the last option is move cursor is to allow us to move items without the mouse we can actually use the keyboard to trigger an item action that will allow us to start a move and then press the item again to place it in the slot let's create our move cursor we'll find that it's added this component here and to activate it we must add an item action here in the item actions we can add an item action binding here and let us create a new one we'll call it move item action set there we go we can select our item category we'll say normal item and our item action will be the move item action as you can see there are no parameters to set up and we should be ready to go now let's go back in the scene we can open the panels again if we drag and drop as you can see we can move the panel around or the item view around but we cannot drop it here yet and that's because we added the drop and drag handler on this grid but not on this one if we click on the item you'll see that we can start moving it with the arrow keys and place them again but for some reason each time we click it automatically selects it again that is because a click starts the item action but it is also used a click to place the item to fix this problem we can go here inventory grid find our move cursor component select it and you will see an option to unbind while moving this means that we can unbind the item action binding while we are moving the item now we will be able to place the item without triggering a new item action we also need to select our storage inventory grid and set up the drop handler drag handler and move cursor here we can select our item view drop action set and we shouldn't forget to add the item action there you go now we can close this play again use the debugging tools to open the inventory panels and we now should be able to drag and drop between the inventory grids you'll see that in our character inventory the items are currently well represented a useful feature to know about is our inventory grid if we go under our drop handler component we will see here a debug past condition this will give you the last index in this list that passed so that to know which action is being processed 
finally as you can see while we drag and drop we can see behind that there's a color green this is because the condition passes you can actually change the look of the item view from the source the one that is moving and the destination let's see our item view item view for grid this one and as you can see we have a module that is called drop hover icon preview item view this is the green color that we saw before because the conditions passed but if the conditions failed we'd have had this red color if we check the script we'll see that we are inheriting this i item view slot drop hover selectable which gives us the item view drop handler and gives us all the information we need to know about the item source and where it is being dropped you can learn more about this interface and many others in the documentation that is all for this video i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next one bye